Secretary Cardona, my name is Nathaniel Moran. I'm from uh, Northeast Texas. I uh, wanted to talk with you first about this quote you mentioned to Representative Burleson just a few minutes ago. When I walked in, I heard you say to him, quote, we need to do more to engage parents. Did I hear you correctly when you said that? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you support the language in the recently passed Parents' Bill of Rights that sought to codify this need to do more to engage parents? I believe in parental engagement. I believe that that bill would create a level of oversight where the federal government is dictating lo what local boards can or cannot do. Uh, so I don't think that's necessary. So is it your position that uh, really local boards are the ones that know best for their school district and should make those decisions on the local level to the extent that it's possible? I do believe that, yes. Um, when you were in the classroom, you taught fourth grade at Hanover Elementary School. Is that true? No, I taught fourth grade at Israel Putnam uh, Elementary School. I was a, a school principal at Hanover Elementary School. And did I read correctly that you were one of the youngest or the youngest principal when you were the principal at Hanover? I was back then, yes. So in your time in the classroom in fourth grade, uh, I presume that you really cared deeply about your students. You engaged your students. You got to know each one of them individually. Is that correct? And that is correct. Yeah. And you found out pretty quickly that every one of them has different needs. And aside from parents, you probably knew best how to educate those kids in your fourth grade class. Is that accurate? Yeah, it is accurate. And then when you became a, a principal at Hanover, I presume that's about the same truth for your school. You knew your school better than anybody else. Is that correct? That's correct. In fact, you knew the parents and you, you were held accountable because you were closest to the parents in that school. And if you did something that stepped out of line from what the parents wanted in that community, they could come talk to you and they probably did on a regular basis. That is correct. So I'm, I'm confused. When we deal with education on the federal level, we seem to always want to push education up to the federal government and have the federal government impose more and more mandates. So my question to you is, under your administration as Secretary of the Education, what have you done to push more authority and control and power down to the parents and the local school districts? Thank you for that question. I, I, the same values that I had as a fourth grade teacher and as a school principal I have here. As a matter of fact, when I was at the local level and even at the district and state level, I preferred that the decisions be made at the local level. Uh, I think that's where it should be. What we are doing is we're providing grants and uh, we're funding local boards. We're building capacity of local boards and working and partnering with them to make sure that we stay within our lane and stay in our role. As a matter of fact, the, the question you asked me about the Parents' Bill of Rights, I've been providing parents that same, those rights since I was a teacher and principal. What that bill does is provide greater role for federal government to monitor local school decisions. So, so I take it by your opposition to the Parents' Bill of Rights that you're for getting the federal government out of local school districts and letting local school districts actually perform on the local level as opposed to having more oversight from the federal government. Our country was designed uh, to have local control and, and school boards and that's I, something I that's love important. to hear you say that because, and you just gave me the two examples of the things I think I thought you were going to say about what the role of federal government is uh, here in the education and primarily it's grants and funding. Is that an accurate statement? And um, protecting the civil rights of students. Is there, uh, of those three things, so grants, funding, and protecting the civil rights of students, do you believe that uh, states are ill-equipped to do that on their own? I believe uh, states sometimes need support and guidance uh, to do that work uh, successfully. Um, do you believe that there's a state presently that cannot actually protect the civil rights of students or provide funding or grants to local school districts so that they could decide locally how best to use that money? Uh, I'd be happy to have my team follow up with you on some of the work that we're doing in the Office for Civil Rights to support states and, and districts uh, accomplish that work. And, and I'm proud that we can be a partner with states uh, and districts to get that work done. Do you agree that uh, me as a representative from East Texas probably doesn't know local school districts in California or New York nearly the way those folks know their school districts and their communities? Would you agree with that? I would agree that that makes sense, that you and know your districts more than you know districts in other parts of right. the country. Right. I grew up in East Texas. I, I know East Texas. And conversely, the folks from California and New York, even the ones from Republican districts, don't know East Texas near as well as I do. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Have you ever been to an East, Te East Texas school district? I've been to Texas a number of times. I don't recall specifically which districts they were off the top of my head, but uh, 
I'm sure it's a, a wonderful district, and I'm sure the local officials there are doing a great job educating students. I agree. Thank you for your time today. Thank you.